Hello, my name is Tanya Arkunovalo. I'm senior lecturer and head of department of anthropology. Department of Anthropology was established in 2003. So we are a relatively new um, department. Uh, the department was established by Professor Tim Ingold. And we since developed, we now have 13 members of staff who pursue different interests, research interests. And uh, our main themes are the North, uh, landscape and environment, human-animal relationships, we do religion and belief, we do museum and material cultures. And so our interests are very broad and we can um, suit quite a lot of research interests from our students. So we offer a few master's programs. One of them that I would like to talk about today is called MRES in social anthropology. MRES stands for Masters of Research in Social Anthropology. And it implies that the students who um, are taking this program will be engaged in a research, despite the fact that it's being taught as well. There are courses that they attend. Throughout the training, which lasts 11 months, they do their own project under the supervision of staff members. So they are free to choose a topic of the research that they would like to devote their attention to and working together with members of staff under their supervision, working together with peers in the groups, they can develop something that starts from a tiny idea to a full-blown research project by the end of 11 months and they can be really very proud of. Some of our students did research on environment, landscape. Quite a few students worked on the northern environment specifically amongst Sami in Iceland. Some students worked in Siberia. Um, students do research on human-animal relationships as well. We started recently having quite a lot of people who do material studies and um, using the advantage of the museum being close uh, to us, they engage with that as well. Um, we also have students who do quite a lot, actually, surprisingly, probably or maybe not surprisingly, um, students who do research on migration and um, asylum seekers. Uh, some of our students afterwards, after they finish the MRS program, go to work in the areas of this research they've done. So some of them work in charities, in um, um, international organizations. Some of them run their own charities. And two students who have done our program work now with asylum seekers in Lesbos, in Greece. Uh, one of them works in Spain. So the program, despite the fact that it's oriented on research, helps students to gain very important skills that then take them to work in uh, an important area of their choice, such as charities and uh, international organizations, for instance. Yeah, so I'm Helen Balfour and I'm an MRES student in social anthropology here at the University of Aberdeen. So my research interests is in museums and material culture, um, and my supervisors are Alison Brown and David Anderson. They're both interested in those topics as well, so it's really useful having their input in my dissertation project, which I'll be starting soon. As part of this program, I've been able to do STAR Anthropological Training, so that stands for the Scottish Training in Anthropological Research, and we just got back from that today. So it's been a really interesting week. We went to the Bourne in Glenesk, and we met up with other uh, fieldwork, pre-fieldwork students uh, who are both on MRES programs and PhD programs from Edinburgh and St Andrews. So that was really nice because we were able to meet with other people who are at the same point of research as us as we are just about to start our fieldwork in the next few weeks.
the reason why I chose this program was because in my as part of my undergraduate degree, I was studying a lot of the theory concerning social anthropology, and the MRS gave me the opportunity to look at more the research and how to prepare going to the field and how to apply the methods and how to also explore the diversity of different kinds of methods. So as part of the program, we learn about the core skills and methods that we will use in the field and as part of our research, which includes, for example, how to work with the interviewees, how to conduct an interview, how to do participant observation. And um, we also look at the ethics um, that we may use in the field. So the topic that I am focusing in my research is how to do anthropology a bit more inclusively and also how to use other methods um, and like multi multi-sensory methods, um, not only in the academia, but also in public spaces and how to make public, public spaces more inclusive using anthropological research. So after my graduation and after I'm done with the course, I would like to look into the ways I can apply my research interest so, for example, in a museum or art galleries or maybe community groups that may work uh, with different able bodies and different able individuals. The program is organized um, in three terms. So for the first two terms, the students are taught two main core skills. They work with literature as well. They do quite a lot of theoretical investigation of the project and the core skills methods that are taught are being field research, participant observation, um, ethnography, how to do ethnography, how to speak to the uh, interviewees, what sort of ethical issues the research might uh, um, bring and what sort of ethical research students need to be aware of. So for the third term, when they start doing their own research, they are fully prepared in terms of literature, in terms they are being informed, in terms of research skills that they have. So by the end of the two terms, they in, go into doing their own project fully prepared.